All right, Kirk Granger, down in Alabama, made me this amp. It was a custom amp that uh, my friend Blair Ritchie and I came up with this idea that, you know, if we could get the right transformers made, uh, we could get Kirk to build us a 200 water because 100 watts just not enough. But anyway, that's debatable. People say you're crazy. Even Kurt said I was crazy. But anyway, so here's the M200. And um, I'm running it through four 15-inch speakers. There's two EV SRO 15s in this cabinet. And then in this cabinet, there are some EV clones made by warehouse speakers. They, are, they match these SRO EVs, and they sound almost identical. So it's pretty cool that, they're, that warehouse speakers can do that for you. Anyway, I'm not using the 412 down there. And uh, the 200 watt is uh, as settings. Let's take a look at them. So presence is almost all the way up. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll get a sound and then we'll, we'll, we'll hit on a couple different fuzzes. There's the 69 full tone fuzz, which is supposed to be like a fuzz face. And there's an original fuzz face. And so um, let's go ahead and mess around and we'll look at the settings and uh, adjust as necessary for the the big town this is also a one-piece walnut rushmore guitar uh it's just an amazing guitar there's no uh it's one piece as you can see there one piece and um that means it's one piece of wood so and there's no fingerboard glued on it's just a slab guitar cut out of a tree and i make those and they're just awesome so let's go over here <laughs> Shut off the fuzz there. 200 watts. Alright, so I turned down the volume 1 and 2 a little bit. Masters on 10. sound of the amp just by itself with the guitar plugged right into it. Let's go look at the settings again. Let me go over there if I don't shut this thing off like I always do. So here's the settings on the M200. All right, let's take a look. Okay, presence almost all the way up, bass up all the way, mid up all the way, treble up all the way. Volume one's on six, and then volume two is on six or seven. Masters all the way up. 
So I'm not really diamond out the amp, but you can do that. But we got these fuzzes going on, so let's uh, let's click on the uh, Dallas Arbiter and see what happens. You ready? <laughs> Down. All right, let's do this, okay? Input. Is this input? I dropped the cord there. Now that's output. In, this is backwards. It's made a little different. So this is the input plug. Let's plug this guy in right here. All right, input's plugged in. Let's go to output. There you go. All right, plug the output in. There you go. Let's see. Okay. All right, so this is the full tone. Let's turn up the volume all the way, and then we'll adjust the fuzz as needed. And let's try the. Let's try this guy. Let's see what happens now. Let me put this over here before I shut it off. I have a problem handling these phone recordings. Let's go ahead and try this one. See how the '69 sounds. <laughs>
69. 69 seems to have a, a different character, it's a little smoother all over. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Say what you want, full ten makes a great product. There's no question about that. Let's see if I get this right. Now. Oh, there goes the fan. Hang on a second. Hang on, don't don't give up on me. Let me plug this back in. I'm plugging it back in. I hope this thing is still on. Is it still working? Okay, yeah, all right. I think it's still working. All right. I hope this isn't upside down. Now, all right, so we're going back to the fuzz face of Dallas Arbiter. Eddie Kramer modified that for me back in 1990. All right, so the fuzz face again.
Nice. Kurt Granger, he did an awesome job at bringing my dream 200 watt together. Beautiful 10. And, um, you know, uh, it had some rough goes with UPS. They damaged it a bit. But uh, we were able to salvage it. Uh, Charlie Plate also did some work on this amp. And uh, he added a bright switch here. This amp is... is is a it's a dark amp it's you know it's a lot of bottom end with this 200 water it's crazy good <laughs> 